Is the Fujifilm X-Pro1 still worth buying in 2021? The simple answer is, fuck Yash McLeod. So you're either watching this video because you already have an X-Pro1 or an X-Pro2 or an X-Pro3 and you just like watching Fuji videos or you're contemplating in buying an X-Pro camera. If you're anything like me, you've probably watched thousands of camera reviews about the X-Pro line and um, I made my choice based purely on the fact that I don't have a lot of money. So I went for the X-Pro1 which cost me 200 pounds um, and I'm blown away by it. I'm happy, I'm happy. I knew what I was buying into. I knew that the, um, you know, the EVF isn't top of the range. I mean, it is eight years old, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's great, it's great. And um, even the back screen, I don't see a problem. I do have an X-H1, so trust me, I, I can see the difference. I can see the difference. But um, no, it's, it's, I can live with it. It's, it's as simple as that. Um, I just like the retro aesthetic to it, really. It looks good. It feels good. And this one. <laughs> actually smells good, so whoever had it before me has left his, his scent on it. A bit creepy. Uh, oh yeah, sniff the camera. Mm -hmm, camera sniffer. Um, but no. Currently I've got 
a um, per gear 50 millimeter f1.8 attached to it this lovely little lens which i shall do a review on um, cost me 50 pound from from amazon so I'm, I'm really chuffed and it's great it's great um i can't knock it at all so it's a nice little package i mean ideally i would like and i will be buying uh a 35 millimeter well it's a toss-up between that and the 23 millimeter to be honest but not really using the um, optical viewfinder at the moment I tend to switch off the back screen and just use the EVF so I've got it on focus peaking um, it's not the best focus peaking because it's um, it's white and it's very thin compared to my X-H1, which gives you a nice bright red. But um, just by clicking on the scroll wheel here, you can zoom, it zooms in optically. And uh, yeah, no, you get, um, you know, your eye gets used to when you've reached um, a clinical focus point. Um, so yeah. Like I said, this is a manual lens. I have tried my um, kit lens, 18 to 55 kit lens, um, for the autofocus, and I have updated the firmware to the latest edition. And the teething problems of the first year, you know, they're they're a distant memory. There's nothing wrong with the autofocus at all, in my opinion. Um, for sports. For um, for wildlife or for you know chasing your children around, you probably you know you're going to miss a few shots. But if like me, you just want to take your time, walk around the streets, compose your shots, no problems whatsoever. So currently, I live in Sicily. I moved here in 2019. Originally, I'm from Manchester in the UK. Um, born and raised on the cobble streets, that was our lad. And uh, no, I came here in 2019 with my wife uh, for a new life, really. We have family all over the place. Brazil, here, England. But yeah, and um, I've sort of, I've always been into photography since I was, you know, a child. But recently I've, I've got into street photography and, and documenting life, especially in Sicily, because it's very interesting. The architecture, the buildings, it's, um, it's, it makes for a beautiful palette of creativity. So I picked up the X-Pro One because it's light. It's discreet and uh, no, it allows me to blend in on the streets of Sicily and, and take very good quality photos. I mean, quality wise, it's, um, it's a 16 megapixel sensor, but it's perfect for social, for social media, uh, personal use. Um, I'm never going to print off anything big, so and I don't really crop in to, to my images, so um, no, it's great. Really happy with it. Um, I'm not a fussy person anyway, to be honest. Um, and you know, obviously, I've, I've read on forums the the pros and cons for for every you know X Pro. Well, there's only three for every X Pro at the moment and uh, no no I've, I've kind of fallen in love with this this little boy so yeah the, um, the answer to the question is is the X-Pro1 worth buying in um, 2021 is, is a big thumbs up why not for £200 you can bash it about if you lose it you spend another £200 uh, or whatever currency that is in your world. In, in euros, it was about 225, 230 euros. Um, bargain, absolute bargain. 
So I would love to know your uh, opinions on the Expo line. So if you want to drop a comment down below, uh, have you got an X-Pro camera? Do you want an X-Pro camera? Uh, which X-Pro camera have you got? Why do you like it? Um, what don't you like about it? Um, yeah, let me know. I'd, I'd, I'd love to read your comments. So this is a brand new camera channel. Uh, I'm going to be focusing mainly on uh, Fuji cameras. Um, I'm going to be as honest as I can. Um, it's not going to be too technical. Um, I'm from the north of England and we tend to be quite down to earth and honest and upfront when it comes to our opinions. So hopefully I can bring that style to this uh, channel. So I would be very grateful if you subscribed uh, and liked this video, shared it, hit the notification button because I shall be bringing more videos. This is a, a long-term project and uh, I want to make a success of it. So if you could help me, much appreciated. Um, so yeah, um, the next video will be focusing on the Pergia 50 millimeter f 1.8 like i said if you're uh, on a budget like myself you may be interested in that review so until next time thank you very much for for, for watching and uh i'll see you on the next video ciao